Welcome to A Poetry Podcast. This is your host, Jason Coombs. I'm excited to be here and really happy you decided to have a listen. A Poetry Podcast is simple in format. Each episode will feature a poem by a poet who calls Canada home. I will read the episode's poem three times with a brief pause in between readings. The idea with the podcast is to provide you a chance to listen to poetry like we listen to our favorite music on repeat. After all, who's completely satisfied after only hearing a poem once, right? My hope is that three readings is the sweet spot, enough to offer the chance to dive into the poem a little more each time and hopefully pique your curiosity enough for you to want to find out more about the poet and their work. In that regard, I will make sure to let you know the poet's name, where they call home, and each episode note will contain information on how you can read more about their work, buy their books, and follow them on social media. Think about this podcast like your favorite radio station, but instead of music, you'll hear poetry. Oh, and uh, without the ads, too. Another quick note, I did reach out to each poet and do have their permission to read each piece you will hear uh, here. (laughs) So, enough of the nuts and the bolts. Let's get to A Poetry Podcast's first episode. Our first poem is In the Boxcar of Surrey Around Guildford Castle by Kevin Spenced. Kevin lives in Vancouver on unceded Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh territory. Here's In the Boxcar of Surrey Around Guildford Castle. At nine, Dante was done in by a twist's divinity. Within this love at first sigh, he upturned a golden vocation, a map through exile. At a Kirby Christmas party, I fell for a girl at four, barely a blip for courtship. We froze into a one-night slow dance in a Polaroid. Out of my depths at ten, Blinded by Maria Gauze, I blanched. A towering twenty-year-old, she took me horseback riding. My arms the gladdest they could be. Soon after, some yeg wooed my sister's friend away. Heartsick, I sought a coeval, but my fervor bore a fever that chased angels away. In dreams, we undid class, pilfered the big bedroom of stars. From shag-rug eruptions, I followed the thorn-birds whirled down under, boo-hooed out the bazoo for unmatchable love. And now reading number two. In the boxcar of Surrey, around Guildford Castle. At nine, Dante was done in by a twist's divinity. Within this love at first sigh, he upturned a golden vocation a map through exile. At a Kirby Christmas party, I fell for a girl at four. Barely a blip for a courtship, we froze into a one-night slow dance in a Polaroid. Out of my depths at ten, blinded by Maria Gauze, I blanched. A towering twenty-year-old, she took me horseback riding. My arms the gladdest they could be. Soon after, some yeg wooed my sister's friend away. Heartsick, I sought a coeval, but my fervor bore a fever that chased angels away. In dreams, we undid class, pilfered the big bedroom of stars. From shag rug eruptions, I followed the thorn birds whirled down under, boo hooed out the bazoo for unmatchable love. And here's reading number three. In the boxcar of Surrey, around Guildford Castle. At nine, Dante was done in by a twist's divinity. Within this love at first sigh, he upturned a golden vocation, a map through exile. At a Kirby Christmas party, I fell for a girl at four. Barely a blip for a courtship, We froze into a one-night slow dance in a Polaroid. Out of my depths at ten, blinded by Maria Gauze, 
I blanched. A towering twenty-year-old, she took me horseback riding, my arms the gladdest they could be. Soon after, some yeg wooed my sister's friend away. Heartsick, I sought a coeval, but my fervor bore a fever that chased angels away. In dreams, we undid class, pilfered the big bedroom of stars. From shagrog eruptions, I followed the thornbird's world down under, boo-hooed out the bazoo for unmatchable love. That was In the Boxcar of Surrey Around Guildford Castle by Kevin Spence from his book Hearts Amuck, a Memoir in Verse, Anvil Press, 2020. Everything you need to find more information about this episode's poet and how to support the work can be found in the episode notes. By the way, there will be a new episode up six days a week for your listening pleasure. If you don't want to miss one, Subscribe or follow wherever you download your favorite podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. 